Hi, hey, how you doing? My name is Dragonite Dan, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the essentials that you're going to need to protect and maintain your Pokemon. Without further ado, let's jump in. We'll open up this box here, and we'll dive right in. First thing you're going to need if you're going to be protecting or collecting your Pokemon, you're going to need penny sleeves. I use Ultra Pro. Really great brand. If you ever need any sleeves, I would uh, pick some of these up. We'll throw some of these. I'll show you how to do it. Slip them in there just like that. And there you go. You got a shiny rock rough inside a sleeve. Now we'll throw in uh, this Dragonite here. We got our Dragonite inside the sleeve. We got ourselves a hollow Dragonite. Awesome looking card. If you didn't tell by now, I'm a huge fan of Dragonite. And that's all we got for penny sleeves there. Great to have. And some other great things you might want is some top loaders. Ultra made, uh, also made by Ultra Pro. Can barely talk. And I'll show you how to throw some cards inside there. What you want to do is put your card inside the sleeve first. And then slip them right in here. Uh, these are the size I use for Pokemon. They fit really well. And you just slide it in there as far as you can get it. And then just tap it down. Tripod's probably going to shake when I do this. But it's all worth it guys. And ladies. There we go. We got ourselves a Dragonite inside the sleeve. Perfectly protect it. Set that guy right there. And now we'll do it with this shiny rock rough. Uh, instead of using top loaders, you could use card savers. They're a little bit more expensive. I sorry I don't have one to show you guys here. But they're not really essential. I mean you can pick up top loaders for relatively really cheap. You could also send your cards into PSA if you wanted to have them graded and have them in cases. Or you could use what they call uh a one touch, I do believe they're called, and they're case, which fits together and they're magnetized. But top loaders work just as well as long as you don't flip them over. They're great for collecting cards. And you could also put your cards inside a, a page like this if you wanted to. I think there's nine on each side, so you'd have 18 cards. You fit it right inside of a binder. You would put your card in the sleeve, and then you would put it into your binder if you wanted to protect them. Really great to have. And then if you're doing Pokemon battles or you're going to a tournament, you'd want to use sleeves like this. They're a little bit higher quality and come in a few different varieties. You can get glossy ones. You could get uh, matte finish, which are good to have. Because you definitely don't want to be doing Pokemon battles inside these sleeves. They're not very good. And I'll show you off some of the cards I already have in top loaders here. Holographic Squirtle, Holographic War Turtle, Blastoise EX, Dark Vileplume. That's an awesome card. Pikachu. Rainbow Rare, the Birds. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Palkia. That's an awesome card. Umbreon EX. If you haven't seen that, go back to my last video. Uh, it's out of the Blastoise uh, Premium Box. Which is a pretty good box. Marshadow and Machamp. Gyarados. I think that's a promo card. Yep. Uh, Mewtwo. Promo as well. Really good. And we have ourselves a another rainbow rare. And we have ourselves a Mega Charizard DX. Awesome card. I think this is from Evolutions. So pretty good pulls from Evolutions. You could also get the Charizards out of that and a little bit of everything. Well guys, that's all the video video footage I got for you today. Uh, my name's Dragonite Dan. The next opening, stay tuned because we're going to be opening up Snorlax Pin Collection. And who doesn't like the beefy boy Snorlax? So everyone have a great day. My name's Dragonite Dan. 
See you later.